Just to quickly explain a grindometer, which is how we do measure our texture. This is a really simple tool and what it has is a bunch of pores, a bunch of little, little holes starting from the top here all the way down and there's a bunch of numbers on the side. So 50 would represent 50 microns. And so up at the top here, the pores are larger. They're at roughly 50 microns. As it goes down, it's getting smaller and smaller, tighter and tighter and tighter. So when you put a dab of chocolate at the top and you use this squeegee and you go down this center line, it'll fill in until it is approximately the micron size that is too small that it won't fill in the pores anymore. So if it fills in, it means it's refined to that size. And it's not going to be perfect. You're still going to have larger micron sizes and you're going to have some smaller ones. But when it's roughly in the middle of where you see it stop filling in, that's about the size of your micron of your chocolate texture. And what we find is people do not distinguish texture beyond or lower than 20 microns. So we're constantly shooting for under 20 microns for our chocolate. It just tastes better to us and as well as to what we find most people's palates.